Life is a combination of two things, a certain amount of time and certain amount of energy. Time is rolling away. You do something, you don't do something, you're happy, you're unhappy, tick, 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 it's going away for all of us, it doesn't stop for any of us. We cannot say, today I didn't use it, let me roll it back. There's no such thing. Time is just rolling away. So the only thing that we can manage is our energy. Our energies we can manage in such a way, either it is, you know, very... makes your life very profound. These are two aspects when it comes to life. One thing is to make your experience of life very profound. Another thing is, your activity must be impactful. I think you guys are overly focusing on your activity being impactful, not invested on making your life profound. Because right now you think acid will make you profound, smoke will pro make you profound. Well, it gives you a facade. And in fact, it makes you frivolous and it is also possible. I'm telling you, during my time, I'm saying uh, when I was in university, I, thirteen of my friends over a period of seven, eight years, thirteen of my friends died. Some to drugs, overdosing, some riding motorcycles too wild, you know, not knowing where the limit is, trying to ride like somebody else, all right? You can ride to your limit, you can't do what somebody does. Somebody else may be doing something else. You must ride to your limit, you must know where is your limit and you stay on that edge and see how to push that edge. But you don't try to do what somebody else is doing right now. So like this, thirteen of my friends in seven, eight years' time, about four of them to drugs, remaining uh, nine of them to motorcycles, they lost their lives. They're all wonderful riders, they rode with me for many years. They're all... it's not like in United States, okay? This is like sitting on a mic uh, microwave riding in United States. There is nothing, just put it on the cruise and you sit. This is not like that in India. You're riding, an elephant can be on the road, all right? And you need to be super alert and intuitive to ride at a certain speed. These are good guys, very good at what they're doing. But somebody drinks and drives, you know, rides. Somebody thinks he can smoke and then ride, smoke up and then ride. Like these kind of things, or somebody, at any cost he wants to go ahead of somebody, whatever. Essentially, not calibrating your energies right. Those who died, died. Many others, they became accountants, they became lawyers, they became something else. They're all my age now, when I look at them, they're all... they're all successful people. They got money, they got wife, they got kids, uh, all this. But no life in them. Time will run anyway, whether you like it or you don't like it. Today gets over, tomorrow happens, tomorrow gets over. It's happening to all of us. So these are the only two ingredients you have, time and energy. What you make out of your energy is the profoundness of your life and also the impact of your work. Please, uh, all of you, make that happen for yourself. First and foremost thing is life should become profound in your experience. Then how you impact people, you don't have to worry. Whichever way you do it, it'll be for the best. But if you live on the surface and try to impact people, Sometimes you will good, do good things, sometimes you will do terrible things to people, maybe with good intention, because most horrible things on this planet are done with best of intentions, not with bad intention. Sadhguru, thank you for blessing us with your wisdom today. Can we get a round of applause for Sadhguru? <laughs>